Hello people of YouTube and welcome to one of my Dutch lessons. Um, today we are going to be doing the second of our three-parter about personal pronouns. The first one was about subject pronouns, today we'll be talking about object pronouns and in one of the next Dutch lessons we'll be talking about possessive pronouns as well. Just like subject pronouns, object pronouns have a full and a reduced version that I elaborated quite a lot on in my first video about subject pronouns. In this video I'm not going to go as deep into the functions and applications of reduced and full forms. If you want to know more about that then I do recommend you watch the first video up there. Because that video I properly split up in two parts where I first just talked about the full versions and then after that I just talked about the reduced forms. In this video I'm going to combine the two. So when we get to the example sentences with subject pronouns we will have a full version, a reduced version, and then, of course, the English translation. Right, so let's just dive into it, shall we? The first person singular, or in English, me, in Dutch has the full version, mij, and the reduced version, me. And the first example sentence, de hond loopt met mij mee naar huis, de hond loopt met me mee naar huis, the dog walks home with me. Onto the second person singular, which is you, in English, jou or je in Dutch. And the example sentence, ik doe met jou mee or ik doe met je mee, which roughly translates to I am joining you in an activity, insert activity here. It doesn't translate very nicely in a, in a very literal way. It's sort of a semi-figurative sentence, I suppose. Ik doe met jou mee or ik doe met je. And of course, we don't just have a second person singular informal, but we in Dutch also have a formal form, which is the word u, or rather just the letter u. Luckily for u, there is no reduced form, so we can keep the examples very simple. Deze vlinderdas past goed bij u. This bow tie suits you very well. Then on to third person singular. And just like with subject pronouns, object pronouns apparently have a lot of different reduced forms for third person singular. But the thing about all of these reduced options is that they all sounded quite dialecty to me. And of the options available, I only use two, which I will show you in this video. If you are interested in learning the other reduced forms for third person singular, then uh, do check out the first link in the description below because that is the source I used for this video. So all of the different reduced forms are in that article. But yeah, the reduced forms I could use with my slightly more northern Dutch twang I uh, will talk about in this video. So for the male side of things, or him in English, would uh, in Dutch be hem, or in possible slightly more northern accent, apostrophe m. We gaan met hem naar de tandarts. We gaan met hem naar de tandarts. You can hear that I kind of swallow the start of the word. So instead of saying hem, I just say Hmm. Um, and this sentence means we are going to the dentist with him. Wij gaan met hem naar de tandarts. Wij gaan met hem naar de tandarts. Then to the female side of things, or her in English, haar in proper Dutch, or die apostrophe r in my slightly northern twang. For example, de kinderen kunnen veel van haar leren. De kinderen kunnen veel van haar leren. What's an interesting as well that I just noticed is that the second example, I feel like I have to say the whole example slightly faster than the uh, the more plain Dutch one, just because it feels like it's supposed to be a more fluent native thing. So if you are uh, in doubt, just always go with haar instead of der, because again, it's quite a, an accent-y thing. De kinderen kunnen veel van haar leren. De kinderen kunnen veel van der leren. The children can learn a lot from her. And then we go on to the plurals. The first person plural or us in English is ons in Dutch and there is luckily no reduced form for this. Zij doet de afwas met ons. She does the dishes with us. Then on to second person plural informal or you in English. Jullie in Dutch. There actually is a reduced form for this but just like with subject pronouns I have never heard anyone use it and I have never used it myself. But if you are interested in learning about it, then again, first link down below. So yes, you, Julie. For Julie, wordt alles geregeld. For you, everything will be arranged. And then to second person plural, formal, and we keep it simple. It is still the word u. 
which in English would translate to you, because in English, as far as I am aware, there is no formal form. Als ik u was, zou ik erg voorzichtig zijn. If I were you, I would be very careful. Als ik u was, zou ik erg voorzichtig zijn. Third person plural or them in English would be hen or hun in Dutch. And then there is a reduced form, which is ze. Now, hen or hun both mean the same thing. They both just mean them. There is no formal or informal form. They just mean them. However, there is a weird set of rules attached to them that is kind of complicated about where to use which variety of the word. These rules go far outside the scope of daily Dutch usage and definitely outside the scope of this video, even outside the scope of my knowledge of Dutch grammar. So I am just going to leave them out of this video. However, I have linked an article down below that you can check out. It is a slightly complex Dutch article, but if you want to check it out, then you can learn about where to apply hen or hun. One key item from this article to note though is that it says that if you use hen for everything and just forget about hun, you aren't considered wrong. So just using hen for everything would be counted as correct even though it is slightly gray territory. Over elaborate explanation but just keep the word hen for them in mind and then the reduced form Ze. Hij geeft hen het cadeau, or reduced, hij geeft ze het cadeau. He gives them the present. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of this video about object pronouns. Now, like I said, this is the second one in a three-parter. The first parter, which you can check out right now, is a video about subject pronouns in which I am a bit more elaborate about the whole full form and reduced form thing. And then the uh, last one, which will go up in a couple of weeks, presumably. I am not really working from the schedule. Uh, but that one will be about possessive pronouns. For now though, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to randomly push some of the positive buttons down below. And I will see you next time. Ciao.